We're at the uh, 4-H camp in Jabez, Kentucky. We're having the Kentucky Hunter Education Challenge. Well, this weekend is all about uh, hunter education. And we've got about 40 kids here, which is a total of 10 teams. They come from all over. There's a lot of volunteers here to help these kids understand the safe aspect of handling any type of a firearm. They'll do shotgun. We are doing the archery portion of it. Shooting 3D targets, shooting 15 targets from different positions. They score one arrow for each target. Patience and concentration. The main thing that we're producing here is to get out here and shoot and be safe as possible doing that particular thing. That is, that is our objective. They'll do black powder. I mean, it's been left behind, this sport, I guess you'd say. We have three children. So the boys chose a shooting sport for 4-H and we're doing archery. And after a couple years of Mary being in dance and watching the boys um, with their, with their bows and arrows, she said, you know, I believe I want to do that too. And so that's what got her interested. So we took her out of dance and she joined 4 H shooting sports and uh, has been with the program with the boys since that time. Well, it's kind of weird, but it makes you kind of proud because you know that, you know, it's still really fun, but I just kind of wish that there were other people who were involved, other girls, because it's really, really fun to get out and shoot, so. They use uh, their light 22 rifles with scopes. Teaching the kids to shoot in the standing prone and sitting position at a 25 yard, 50 yard, and 75 yard range. And then they'll also do some orienteering and, uh, and topographical maps. They use those to do some, take some readings with. What happens out here basically is that the youngsters put into practice uh, in about as close or as realistic a situation as you can get short of actually going hunting on just about all of the things that we stress in the hunter education program. Identify this for us, please. Uh, wildlife identification, we identify furs, markings, scrapes, um, paws, just all kinds of different things. And then number 10 is up here on the tree. Felt like it did okay, and I got most of them right. We have a what's called a uh, hunter ethics trail. They're actually in a hunting situation. It's just like they were hunting by themselves. And we put them in a shoot, no shoot situation. And it's up to them to determine whether it's a shoot or a no shoot situation. Yeah, it's really fun. I mean, being out in the outdoors, everything's so pretty. And it's just, for me, I really enjoy it, every second of it. And we are trying our best to uh, give these kids an opportunity to get back outside. The kids this day and time, though, they've got a lot more opportunities in front of them. I guess it's because they're too busy or they're busy playing video games and stuff like that. I think it really comes down today, a choice that you have to make as a parent. Am I going to let my children choose the indoor things all the time or are we going to have rules that say, okay, there's, there's time limits on those electronic games. You need to go out, experience nature, um, and, and get some physical activity and really enjoy uh, some of the things that my kids enjoy. A lot of your kids is in city areas, urban areas, don't have no place to shoot. This gives them opportunity to get out, be out in the open and be able to handle a gun. Some kids don't even own their own guns. 4-H and shooting sports teams and stuff uh, sponsors their guns for them. When kids are, are outdoors um, and are spending time in nature and doing these sorts of activities, it really gives them an opportunity to be creative, to, to sort of think about things differently than they would if they spent all their time in front of a TV or an electronic game as we uh, are so tempted to do these days. Uh, yes, it means the world to me. I love to be in, uh, this, is, this is my comfort zone, uh, it's where I feel closest to my Lord and just where I love to be. I've done it for a number of years and I'm hoping that these boys will, or, and girls, will uh, enjoy the same things that I've experienced for just about all my life. I've seen wonders from daylight to dark. And I've been teaching it since 81 and I hope that 
the tradition that I've experienced and taught them, they will continue from now on. But it's really, really fun. So I'm happy that I have a chance to get out and shoot.